Hello everyone. In this episode of Smart Life, we'll cover the top five models available in the market. We made this list based on our personal opinion and hours of research, and I've listed them based on quality, popularity, price, and more. I've included options for every type of buyer. So if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we'll have the product for you. Please check the link in the description below for more details. Let's dive into the video. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could take your trolling motor to the beach? Well, with saltwater trolling motors, you can. So, let's dive into the video. Number 1, Most Popular Newport Vessels NV Series 36 pounds thrust salt water. Well, they aren't as high quality as Minn Kota of course. Neither are they as feature packed. But the NV Series has everything to get the job done. It has 8 speeds, 5 forward and 3 back. It has a telescoping handle, making steering easy and comfortable. It has a composite fiberglass shaft, which makes it extra strong and able to withstand rockets. It has an adjustable shaft, so you can choose the perfect length for your boat. And it has a lead battery meter, you'll never get caught off guard with no battery. Number 2. Newport Vessels Kayak Series 36 pounds per 55 pounds thrust transom mounted salt water. As you can guess, these motors come with several features that make them perfect for kayaks. For one, their shaft length is shorter than usual. This is because kayaks are a lot closer to the water than inflatable boats. With a shorter shaft, you won't have to worry about your motor scratching rocks underneath. What's more, the kayak series also comes with extra long cables. It has the composite fiberglass adjustable shaft, the 8 speeds, and the lead battery meter. It does cost slightly more than the NV series. Number 3. Motorguide Wireless Saltwater Bow Mount Trolling Motor. Riptide to Rover is great, but it doesn't have integrated sonar imaging. This might not seem like a LOT. But for tech-savvy fishermen, they can't get the ultimate fishing experience without this. Also, the 11.5 doesn't only have an lead battery meter, it has an entire lead dashboard. This dashboard shows you everything you need to know, from the battery level to the exact settings you're on. Motorguide has a great reputation for their durability. And with the 11.5's composite shaft, you can expect it to last you years to come. Aside from those upgrades, the 11.5 also has all the basic goods. Number 4. Minn Kota Riptide SC Transom Trolling Motor. They are so complete, they have an entire saltwater motor lineup. These are known as the Riptides. Riptides are grit blasted then coated with aluminum, giving them the best corrosion resistance ever. You'll never have to worry about rust popping up when you hit the beach with one of these. Since transom mounted motors are best for inflatable boats, I highly recommend checking out the Riptide transom. Not only does this motor come with a bunch of thrust and shaft length options, but it's also packed with features. For one, the Riptide transom comes with an lead battery meter. With this, you'll never have to worry about running out of battery in the middle of the water. Number 5. Minn Kota 1363762 Riptide Tarova Salt Water. Hypermodern features can only be found in bow mount motors. Now, bow mount motors are quite difficult to install on inflatable boats. But if you get it done, boy will you be rewarded. It's not only easier to steer, but you can get the most feature-rich motors ever, such as the Riptide Tarova. Like the Riptide Transom, the Tarova also has variable speed options and the digital maximizer. It has the all-important lead battery meter and a weedless wedge to get rid of vegetation as well. Now here's where things get interesting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates.